So we found that maple syrup extract actually makes bacteria more susceptible to antibiotics. So we bought some maple syrup from a local market in Montreal and we brought it back to the lab and we actually cut out, if you will, uh, a, a certain fraction of the maple syrup, uh, a polyphenolic rich fraction. And we took this extract from maple syrup and then we exposed different bacteria to this extract um, in the laboratory, of course. Um, and when we did this, uh, we found that it, it makes the bacteria more susceptible to antibiotics and it also makes the bacteria less able to build these biofilms that are these films on surfaces. Now, bacteria have this skin around them you know, that protects them. It's called a membrane. And what's interesting is that when we expose bacteria to this maple syrup extract, it actually makes the skin more permeable to the antibiotic. So the antibiotic can kind of permeate through the skin inside the skin there's these pumps and the job of these pumps is actually to pump out antibiotics so when you expose bacteria to antibiotics the antibiotics get in uh, where they want to do their job but these pumps are pumping the antibiotic out so they can't do their job and what we found is that these maple syrup extracts they actually knock out the function of these pumps so they can't pump out the antibiotic the antibiotic is stuck inside the bacteria and now it can do its job of killing off the bacteria Bacteria actually form biofilms. Uh, these are films, thick films of bacteria on a surface. And for example, plaque on your teeth is a biofilm. And what's interesting is when we expose the bacteria or biofilms to this maple syrup extract, we found that the maple syrup extract can actually cause less biofilm to form, but can also help break down biofilm that's already formed. Another finding that's interesting to highlight from this research is that the maple syrup extract actually also has an effect on the gene expression of bacteria. And one set of genes that we looked at is genes related with virulence or their, the infectivity of the bacteria. And we found that the maple syrup extract actually decreases the gene expression of those genes. So the genes that are responsible for how infectious the bacteria are. So the results of our research are potentially significant because it might help reduce uh, the usage of antibiotics. We know that in our day and age, uh, there's a global crisis of overuse of antibiotics, which has led to uh, the development of antibiotic resistance. So potentially, it's still too early to say, uh, we still have to do a lot more studies, in vivo studies, and eventually clinical trials. Uh, but potentially, by combining an extract from maple syrup with antibiotics, we might actually need to use less antibiotics to get the same treatment.